All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the liquify tool, which is used a lot of times to make people look uh, heavier, thinner. Um, so I'm going to do open as, and I have a picture, and I'll put the link in down in the bottom in the description. You'll be able to get it there. But um, oh, make sure you do open as, and you need to make sure you click camera raw because it's a JPEG. But I want to be able to go into camera raw editor first. So there's my fat cat. All right. And I'll take a second to open. And like normal, I want to make this look better from the start. So I like to have things a little more contrast. All right, um, It's a little bit dark of a picture, so you could go up with exposure. But exposure is actually uh, highlights the highlights even more. So a lot of times, um, you know, you could go with uh, shadows you know, and bring the shadows up instead. Um, you could do that some. Also, you can mess the blacks and whites. Some people actually like a lot more. Um, blacks like make the darks darker um, but I will turn up the exposure just a little bit you just don't want to go too far that whites turn into you know natural whites look even more white than they should like the kind of bleached I think right there looks about right that's the way I would like it um, again you can mess with the temperature and whatever else um, but I'm gonna go with that so I'm gonna hit open image and there's our fat cat all right and We'll call him Mr. Bigglesworth. He's uh, sensitive about his weight, so we're going to make him look a little thinner. So I'm going to go up to Filter and Liquify. And what this up brings up this different dialog box that's going to allow me to uh, change certain things. So what I'm going to do is um, first, here's the Word Warp tool. This is what's typically used. See, if I, if I want to push it in, see, it allows me to push it in. If you go too far, you can see the effect's kind of weird. Now, if you use a small tool, um, you could go around all over the place, but then you get this, like, like weird bumpiness. It's not really what you would want. Okay, so I'm going to hold down Control, Shift, and Z a few times to undo all of those. Um, oops. It's not letting me do it. I can also hit Restore All, and that'll bring it back. Um, but I can change the brush size. I'm going to, you know, those little brackets make it bigger or smaller. Or I can go up here. But I'm going to go very large with this, and I could go from the edge here and pull down. Uh, but you can see it doesn't really affect it until it actually. Um, the little crosshair in the middle is um, where the gravity is. So I'm actually going to go into this area and pull down, and that's actually going to bring bring it in. I might even want to go with even a larger brush uh, when I'm dealing with the larger area. And I could go with a smaller brush when I want to deal with just a small area, like around his neck and whatever else. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of scooch all this in here. I'll make, make sure it doesn't look too bumpy. Um, I could even go really large for his foot here because I want the whole image to kind of warp a little bit. So, see if I go like this, it kind of even looks like it extends his leg a little bit, which is fine too. Alright, there you go. This little problem area he has, this little stomach right here. I'm going to push that in alone. There you go, Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> and I can go up here and move this in some too. So, that's looking pretty good. He looks a lot more normal, you know. He looks a lot more average. Um, but let's beautify his face here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do actually the opposite. I'm going to use the punch tool here, or the bloat tool. And I'm going to go over his face here. And I'm going to make his face just look a little bit bigger. Okay. I could even shrink, uh, get it really small and make just his eyes bigger. You know, because all cats want to have very large eyes. Um, so that looks pretty good there. And then I can hit OK. And it's going to change it like that so you can see the difference um, just hit control Z to go back and forth um, you can kind of see it affected some of the carpet too which looks a little weird um, so what I can do is I can use this little eraser here and if you click on this erase to history it's gonna allow me to erase some of the carpet that got changed it looked a little funky so I can go in here and do this now when I do this though I want to make sure that I'm choosing a brush where the hardness is all the way down that way it's got more of a soft edge. Now if I go too far, you can see it actually, you know, I can bring the cat right back too, which is nice, but that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to just undo that there. Um, but you can kind of see how that works. Um, again, I went too far. But, uh, yeah, so there he is, Mr. Bigglesworth, all slimmed down with a bigger face. Um, and obviously, you know, you can do this with people as well, but I just don't like that sending that message to uh, people, so I use the cat instead. So uh, there's how you do it. And, you know, save this as a JPEG, and you're all done.